a Sam Bolt, yeah, well, that that comes from the book uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, written by by Beecher, uh, and uh, back in the eighteen in eighteen and fifty one and fifty two, and in that book Black uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin, uh, the, the 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 culprit was was in, in the book was laid out by whites up until about nineteen forty seven as being Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom was an extremely old gentleman, but also he was a uh, overly religious, and he was a uh, and he, he was over religious, and but he was uh, and not very strong, and so. But one thing he did have, he did have some principles. He would go out and try to say he would not beat black women. He would not he would not whip black folk who came up short on their cotton picking every day when they came in in the evening. He would take cotton out of his own sack and stick it in the bag, and uh, and so they could make their way in without getting whipped. He would not squeal on his people. Uncle Tom would not tell, squeal on his people when they ran off or they went across the river and looking for a better life of freedom. He would not also beat in the black black women who were who refused to work because they were pregnant, and so the result of that, Simon Legree, the uh, the, uh, the the slave master, he asked Sambo, said Sambo, you know, I want him to understand I'm his master, and I tell him to do something, I want him to do it, I want him to tell me, keep me posted on these black folk and and what they're up to, and quit trying to help them, and uh, and so he said, and and he must confess that I am his Lord and master on this earth, and Uncle Tom said he wouldn't do that. And he would not do that. He said, and consequently, uh, the slave master asked Sambo to beat him every night until he finally gave in and surrendered and understood that he had to do what the white man told him. And then started started quit aligning and helping his own people. And and uh, and so he, so finally, Sambo beat Uncle Tom to death. And so Uncle Tom was Uncle Tom was not necessarily the bad guy. Uncle Tom was a weak man and overly religious, but he's not a bad guy. He would go out of his way to help his people. And right now we have Uncle Toms in all levels of governments and major corporations. They're not necessarily bad. You can use them. White people made him a bad character in the, in the, in the, in the, before, you know, right up close to the World War II. But the real, the real culprit is Sambo. Sambo is a character that in the, in the novel kept telling the white slave master, yes, master, I'll show you how to trees the coons. I'll tell you where, the, where these Negroes hide when they run across the creek. I'll beat them for you. And right now you've got black folk in all levels of government and corporation in our society right now and sitting even in some of these different organizations, institutional organizations, that will always go out of their way to mistreat and say something bad about their own people, beat them. And, uh, and that's why if you go to the Fox Channel or the, or, the, or, the, or the news to NBC, you always got a black person there to do anything he can to put black folk down and whip them to help Simon Legree. So there's a big difference between Uncle Tom and Sambo. So if there's a character that's mistreating black folk, don't call him an Uncle Tom. You be complimenting him. You call him a Sambo.